Development Journal of Cell Science and Journal of Experimental Biology have committed to a transformative journal route. Authors will still have the same publishing options available to them. With a focus on these author choices, I'm here today with the Company of Biologists publisher, Claire Moulton, to find out more. Claire, how does this announcement fit with the company's open access strategy? At the Company of Biologists, we've been offering open access options since 2004, and two of our five journals are already fully open access. We believe that open access is the direction of travel, but that it's important to progress at a pace that protects our journals for the future. So development, Journal of Cell Science and Journal of Experimental Biology are currently hybrid journals. Does this decision to make them transformative journals mean that they will be compliant with planners requirements that are coming in in 2021? That's right. But we want all authors in our journal communities to be able to publish with us whatever their funder and whatever their financial status. So we will continue to provide publishing routes that appeal to authors with different needs. And could you talk us through the different options that you will be offering? Yes, of course. There are three routes for authors to publish in development JCS and JEB. The first is free non-open access publication. The author pays nothing at all. The article is available to our subscribers for six months and then is made free to read for everyone. This option is most likely to appeal to authors whose funders and institutions don't mandate open access and authors who don't want to choose open access access or pay an open access fee for whatever reason. And this option could be really important given the financial challenges expected in the university sector post COVID. The second option is for the author to pay an APC for gold open access. This is most likely to appeal to authors whose funders or institutions do mandate gold open access or to authors who prefer to publish OA. Articles will be published under a CCBY license and we already have in place measures to avoid so-called double dipping. The third route is for authors whose institutions have taken up one of our read and publish deals. These read and publish deals are agreed with librarians and provide the usual unlimited access to all of our content. Plus, they allow corresponding authors from that institution free and unlimited publication of open access research articles. Read and publish deals are relatively new for us, but we are already seeing authors reaping the benefit of free open access. So if we have authors listening who like the sound of that, we uh, please do encourage your librarian to talk to us about this option. So to summarise, we believe open access is the direction of travel and that open access offers benefits such as higher usage and a wider readership for our authors' articles. Our commitment to the transformative journal approach will also make us Plan S compliant, which supports those of our authors with Coalition S funding. But we want to emphasise the range of options we provide for all of our authors, whatever their funder and whatever their financial status. We are here to support our whole author community. OK, thank you very much for your time today, Claire. And here are some links for authors who may wish to read more about this. Thank you. Thank you, Yitzka.